Hello viewers, welcome to another additional War Robots test server. This is 2018, June 2nd and June 3rd. However, the War Robots test server appears to be available early on June 1st. So here we are testing again the Chimera and the Mender, uh, the, the Chimera and the Avenger, I should say. Um, Mender is something different, which we'll see shortly. I put these weapons. I see the Chimera has a graphic now, which is quite beautiful. Everything is at level 8, both robots and weapons for the test servers. So there's no description, but essentially it is a heavy weapon, which I've placed on a Fury. I guess the ultimate for these weapons. It is essentially a heavy version of the Hydra. Uh, as irritating as that may sound uh, for players who don't like to be hit by chimeras constantly over and over and over. I placed the Avenger as well. This is essentially like the Punisher except a heavy version. Um, and the range is much like a Punisher at 500 meters but becomes much more effective as you get closer because rounds are inaccurate. So not much of a description here either. I placed them on uh, a fury. You will see in this test server two versions of the Mender, the Mender 1 and Mender 2. The Mender 1 and Mender 2 have the same durability, speed. Uh, here they are at level 8. Um, but the difference between the Mender 1 and Mender 2, neither of which have descriptions, is that the way in which the menders work in healing is different. So what happens is that uh, they, they have a medium weapon and a light weapon, so not a lot of weaponry. But when the, but when the uh, special ability is activated, they get a rush, not a jump, but a rush. They get um, a temporary resistance to all types of damage, so you can bring them into a area where there's a lot of conflict. The Mender 1 has one powerful pulse, which it repairs itself and all the allies within a small radius. The Mender 2 also gets that short-term boost, a rush, 33% as well. It has temporary resistance to all types of damage as well, 33% resistance. But it has three pulses of repairs in the range of the enemy. Presumably um, it repairs the same amount, but it just does it over three pulses. All right, so it's more of a roaming repair support robot. Now the Wayland is very different. Much more weaponry. Uh, two heavy weapons. I put the Chimera so that you can see that um, heavy version of the Hydra in action as well. It's got much higher durability, 156,000, but essentially it's a quadruped, so much like the much like the um, quadrupeds, when it goes into its special mode, it will be stationary. However, unlike the Fujin, there's no energy shield, and unlike the Regin, there's no physical shield. It's just stationary, so it will gradually repair itself and allies in the range of the ability. It says so the repair is active until the robot is switched to normal mode. So the benefit of the Wayland is that. Again, no description. The benefit of the Wayland is that it keeps repairing constantly, unlike the Mender, which only has a uh, burst of repair. So it can constantly repair. Then let's see these in action. Now, apparently, the way the repair works is that when the damage is done to any robot, including these robots themselves, it will lose a portion of its health. All right, so it loses a portion of its health. Let's start with the uh, combat uh, focused robots first so that we actually do damage. So right now, there's not much to repair. And essentially, when that damage is done, 20% um, of the damage done 
is now the new ceiling of health for that damaged robot. So for instance, if a robot has, let's say, 100 units or 100% of health, and it goes down to, um, let's say, 50% health, then the remaining 50% has 20% taken off. So one, so, so that's uh, one out of five health points, i.e. when even when it gets fully repaired, it will only have 90% as its new ceiling for health. So it won't be re fully restored. So that's how they've dealt with that. And this is a very powerful weapon, uh, when especially up close, much like a firearm, it's incredibly powerful up close, and it uh, takes away health very fast, but you have to be in constant line of sight. So that's the downside of this uh, weapon. Okay. So I'm killing a Mender here. Can't tell if it's Mender 1 or Mender 2. And I'm going to play very aggressively so you can actually see all these robots in action. I'm going to now go to the Mender, uh, I think. Okay, I'm going to change robots here. Change to the Mender 1. And I'm going to try to repair some of my uh, allies. Okay, I'm going to speed up, even though this is a bit of a waste of my healing. You'll recover, so that cooldown time is quite fast. It says 18 seconds cooldown time. It seems to be a lot faster. No, no, actually, no, cool down. Yeah, the level, the mender. Hmm. Maybe this is the one with the five second cooldown. Okay, uh, this, oh, uh, that uh, ally died. Let me try to find another ally that needs repair here. No one, uh, here's one that needs repair, not very much. Okay, I first speed up. So I can catch up to him. The speed, this, this, okay. So I've repaired him or her. That definitely needs a rush ability because otherwise you can't catch up to people that need repair. Now I don't have a lot of health here. Notice how low the health is um, 110,000 at, at level 8. Okay, I'm going to try to rush again to repair my ally. So I'll activate too soon. So appears to be a 10 second cooldown. Okay, so let me repair again. Okay. Maybe I should stay with him and stay behind him and be shielded by him or her and then do my repair. So I find this much more useful um, than having to go all the way back to a uh, Wayland. Um, so Wayland is stationary, even though it does more repair over a longer time. So it repairs me as well, so that actually is quite useful. Okay, I'll try the Mender 2 now. Let me change robots. Let's see. Okay, so that's three bursts, I think. So this is the Mender 2, then. Yeah, it's a Wayland. That's a five-second cooldown. Okay, so the Mender 2. These should have very long cooldowns, but it seems like the cooldown is shorter for some reason. Okay, I found uh, someone that can heal. I gotta get closer now. Now that I know, it doesn't rush. It does, it's not like the Hellburner where it takes a certain amount of time. It, it starts healing right away. All right. So you can see in the uh, bars where there's a uh, where there is a full health, and then there's the amount of damage, and then there's a small portion where it's gray where it's um, a lighter gray, that must be a mount that it cannot recover. Um, it's, it, it's new health ceilings. Let's stay behind this person. 
do the healing. Where do you go? I hope he's above me. Oh, now I'm in line of fire. I have short range weapons only, so I'm not able to uh, do much here with no shield. Let's try to find someone to repair. No. Nope. This person. Oh, there, there he is, a Spectre. Okay, so he's probably in need of repair. some repair going on. There should be a delay in repair, I hope, so you can get closer with a rush. Yeah, cooldown seems quite fast. Seems like a... So it's activating the ability now. So it seems like the cooldown is only 10 seconds. Now I suppose it would be better uh, to better stay with your ally, but the problem is now you're losing, I guess, firepower. Okay, now let's try the uh, Waylon. It's quite slow. Now I don't count on my allies coming back to the rear line to get repair. I think that's the concept of this robot. However, I think that'll be a problem because people will be removing themselves from battle, they won't be able to uh, have contact with the enemy, they can't capture beacons. So going back to the rear line, um, like a rear hospital for mending, I think is, is going to not be functional. Now I've put hydras here because you don't want to be in the, in the depth of battle, but that might be an option to use the exodus, so that you have some direct ability to harm your enemies. Okay, uh, I'm, have, I'm having a problem here catching up with uh, my allies because I'm so slow. So maybe an Orkin would have been a better choice. Okay, here, I'm going to activate my ability. Nope, not, not able to get to uh, my ally before he died. So maybe an Exodus or Thunders or something more short range would be better. Okay, I think we're going to have to play another game see that in action. Okay. So apparently the healing counts as um, towards your damage. So what do you think? Do you think the Mender 1, which has one pulse of, one powerful pulse of healing is better, or three pulses, which are lower effectiveness is better. I would tend to say um, 3 gives you the time to rush closer to your enemy, so enemies and allies. However, the 1 pulse is better and more effective at a quick recovery. Still searching for players here. Well, but however, you have seen the Chimera now, so I guess we don't need to see it with the Fury, and you've seen the Wayland um, healing, but again, it's slow. Um, that's a problem getting to the front. It doesn't have a physical or energy shield, so you'll have a hard time um, uh, surviving in the heat of battle. Um, and once it starts healing, it has to be stationary. So thank you very much for watching. This has been Test Server 3.9.1, Package 456, uh, 2018, June 2nd and 3rd, but Test Server available early on June 1st.